Now France and Germany have been left humiliated over the manufacture of a sixth-generation fighter plane as a long-running dispute threatens having the program abandoned completely. The announcement comes as BAE system Tempest pushes ahead in progress, with one aviation expert stating the program had an unassailable lead over its European counterpart known as FC8S or SC8F. Plans were unveiled at Farnborough International Air Show that Tempest is poised to soar to the air within five years as a supersonic demonstration. Yet for the Franco-German-Spanish project, delays have forced numerous authorities to voice worries regarding the initiative. The project was meant to reach its next phase late last year, but has been held up as prime contractors to SALT Aviation and Airbus Defense in Space have been unable to agree on the allocation of labor for the next-generation fighter NGF aircraft element. The revelation came from Dassault Chairman Eric Trappier during a mid-year financial press conference. Ms. Trappier said, on the next-generation fighter, Dassault must be the unchallenged leader. He stated there had been some issues of interpretation between the two corporations on what it means to be the prime contractor. Dassault stated in its financial statement on Wednesday that while it is the prime contractor for Pillar 1, indicating the next-generation fighter the prime contractor-slash-main partner relationship is still to be clarified. It added, Dassault Aviation is seeking a clear expression of acceptance of its role as prime contractor by Airbus Defense and Space for the NGF. The project known as Future Combat Air System FCS, of SCAF in French comprises of seven pillars, of which the next-generation fighter jet is one. The other pillars are a new engine for the fighter jet, a next-generation weapon system, new remote carrier drones, enhanced sensors and stealth technologies, and an air combat cloud network. Dassault represents France's involvement in the initiative, while Airbus represents Germany and Indra Systems, heads Spain's industrial engagement. During the earlier stages of the project, objectives were to have a fighter demonstrator flying by 2025. Last year, the date had moved back to 2027, and now, according to Ms. Trippier, the year 2028. He said, We have already lost three years in two years. If similar workshare disagreements re-emerge between the two corporations every two years, it would eventually become impossible to execute the program. Airbus, for its part, is ready to go forward on Phase 1B, a company representative stated in a Thursday email to Defense News. The statement from the aviation giant read, So far, fair and balanced agreements have been established for six out of the seven pillars backslash. A comparable agreement still has to be secured on the remaining NGF pillar. Airbus does not challenge the overarching NGF pillar leadership of the SALT. Backslash, however, Airbus views itself as the key partner at eye level and not merely a supplier. Speaking about the project, the British Ministry of Defense, MOD, said, The demonstrator is crucial for ensuring our technology, skills, and industrial capabilities are ready for the future. Backslash. Designing and building the flying demonstration will verify integration and test skills. It will also give crucial data and insights to UK industry to enable the deployment of a new FCAS aircraft from 2035. The demonstration aircraft is already under development between the government and Team Tempest industry partners in the UK, is aggressively exploring partnership prospects on the project with Italian industry partners. Britain will create supersonic jet fighter prototype. Yet for the Franco-German-Spanish project, delays have forced numerous authorities to voice worries regarding the initiative. The project was meant to reach its next phase late last year but has been held up as prime contractors to SALT Aviation and Airbus Defense in Space have been unable to agree on the allocation of labor for the next-generation fighter NGF, aircraft element. The revelation came from Dassault Chairman Eric Trappier during a mid-year financial press conference. Ms. Trappier said, on the next-generation fighter, Dassault must be the unchallenged leader. He stated there had been some issues of interpretation between the two corporations on what it means to be the prime contractor. Britain, Japan and Italy are conducting a cooperative concept study to identify shared needs and examine how they may work on future aircraft. Decisions on the extent of that relationship are likely this year.